Hey gang, time to get another submission ready for CGC. This one's going to be silver and even a golden age book. Stick around. Yo, welcome back family. Thank you for joining yet again. Uh, just a little side note that this is the third video that I am recording in the last half hour, but they're all going to be airing on different days. But just to make it look like I'm doing something different, I'm changing a t-shirt every week. <laughs> I literally have like shirts over there just because I'm trying to space out the content and not drive you crazy with a 45 minute video. Still keep you laughing, still keep you having some fun talking about comic books. But um, I got one half of a day on Sunday and I got to try to get all this stuff done and get the stuff to my editor, Greg. Thank you so much for being patient with me. I really appreciate it. You're a great guy. Okay, so I have 10 books I'm going to be sending into Economy, which is pre-1975. And I have... Now, this first two books are nothing extremely high value, but the condition I really, really like on these. I have... Uh, Doctor Strange 3 and 4. There we go. And these are really, really sharp looking books here. Spines, corners, everything on them look really nice. That one is nice, but this one with the Dormammu on the front, I think this is just going to present so, so nicely in a slab. I can't wait to see this one in one. And, you know, maybe I'll get this back in time for Doctor Strange 3. Because <laughs> number two is coming out in a couple months. Now, if you're wondering, you know, I said Silver Age. This is a Bronze Age. But this book came out in 1974. Modern Age for CGC is 1975 or newer. And pre-1975 has to go into the economy. And all it says is pre-1975. So you can have a 1902 comic, if there was one, and send it. Now, <laughs> you want to talk about a low-grade comic book? I got this giant water stain on this. The spine is horrible. I think I'm going to get a 1.5. Man, that's about it on this book. Now, why am I submitting it? Because of the book. Because of what it is, what it has. And we have Hulk 182. Now, you can see, like I said, this giant water stain up here at the top. Um... It's, it's in really rough, rough shape. But, and the spine, the staples are intact. Okay? So, it's, it does not, whatever it is, is not going to present well. But, it has the Marvel value stamp. So, this is one of the three books for uh, Wolverine. It's going gonna, it's gonna to be a low grader. I'm going to say, because of that water stain on there, and the way everything looks, 2. 2.0. Let's see how good I am on that. This next book, a little bit higher. Not much higher, but a little bit. I'm going to say this is about a 3.5. But I just would love to see Swamp Thing number one in a slab. Oh my goodness, this is not such a great book. <laughs> now this is not trimmed. It's just a bad fold and cut from the factory. So you see the big whites all the way along here on the spine. And you can see that sense is missing over here for 20. <laughs> That's just the way that it was manufactured. But still, Swamp Thing number one, and I'm going to say it's about a three, 3.5 on this. Pages are decent on the inside. Let's try to get the grades up a little bit, shall we? How about a nice Submariner number 12? Great popping up colors on this one. Spine in beautiful, beautiful condition. No ticks. I think this is a good 9.0 candidate. 9.0, 12 cent Submariner. I'm in it all the way, and that is, I mean, come on, that is going to look awesome in one of those slabs. I saw that book, and it just absolutely I had to have it. Uh, this one, two, I'm down, oh, we got five left. <laughs> so we go, we're going to be adding two, well, I was say two pre-100, the uh, first 100 Spider-Man's in my collection. One I already have, but I'm getting an extra cl uh, copy slab. This one I don't. ASM number 66. Really nice condition, presenting really well. I think we got a good shot here for a 775. Uh, let's see how well it goes. It, this is another one of those books that would benefit from a cleaning, which I'm not going to do. But 
I would still any Spider-Man under in the top 100, it needs to be slabbed just because it's like the perfect picture frame for it. And I purchased this one from uh, Syndicate Comics at the same time as I was buying a slab of the same book because my love slash affinity for the character. Um, I tried to get the sticker off. I don't want you guys seeing how much I paid for it, which is. <laughs> Wow, he's got a lot of money to spend on comic books. <laughs> no, I don't. <laughs> so, ASM number 51. I already have one in this lab. I want this one as well. Looks like I also have to change the bag because I don't want. I don't like sending ones with tape. I like to have the uh, self-adhesive ones so this way they don't accidentally get the tape stuck on it when they open up the book at CGC. Now this one's got a lot of ticks all along the spot. Let me see if I can even count them. These are all color breaking ones. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. We had the full 20. We've got dog ear folds, color break lines all across, all the way down here on the bottom. 3, 5, maybe a 4. That's about as good as you're going to get. It's still intact. Stables are in decent condition. Um, it's the first cover appearance of Kingpin. It's the you know, second appearance overall. I want it slapped. This is another book that I'm going to have two of these, and I'm very happy. I'm just going to put this on the side, so remember to change that back. We have a Strange Tales, Doctor Strange. 164, which is five issues before he got his own book. But with Nightmare right there on the cover. And such high speculation that Nightmare is going to be coming to the MCU in Doctor Strange. I think there's a very good chance at it. Um, it's not, I'm not, I don't really think that Mephisto is going to come to the MCU the way people think he will. China is still a very, very big market for Disney and the MCU movies. China does not allow movies to be shown in their country, which depict religious characters. So if you make a like the Passion of the Christ, that didn't air there. <laughs> Mr. Still is the devil, which is part of the Bible, which is the Christian Bible. They're not going to allow it. If they can put him, sneak him in somehow as, um, what do you call it, uh, a non-religious character, that's great. They're going to need to do that if they want to get Ghost Rider. Doctor Strange still needs a bad guy. <laughs> They've already used Dormammu. Nightmare is the biggest one. And I really think that Nightmare is going to wind up being something in the MCU. And this one actually presents really nicely. Again, another, another great, great cover. And I'm thinking 7.5 to an 8 on this. Next two books. <laughs> this one I just picked up. Okay, I'll leave the price on it. <laughs> it's because I didn't even know it existed. And I've since found out that... Uh, I think there's uh, six issues, and I'm going to be looking to trying to get more of these. This one really looks like it's in nice condition. I'm going to call it a 6-0. I'm sending this off because I want Ronald McDonald in the slab. <laughs> it's just too cool. I love it. Uh, it's another one of those uh, bad cuts from the factory. It's got the really wide border at the bottom, and at the top is uh, cut off part of the Charlton logo, and the uh, approved by the, the Comics Code Authority uh, has been cut off partially. Again, that's not trim. That's just the way that they manufacture the book. Charlton was never really known for their quality. Um, but I'd, I'd love to see this in a slab. I just think it would look really, really cool. Really, really cool. And this one is a... I, I, I got this one from... Um, I got to change the bag on this too. From uh, one of the, uh, the Southern Comic Geek uh, auction. Um, oh my goodness. I have to pause because there's no way I'm not going to put their name up on this. They're too good. They're too nice. Okay, sorry about that. I was no way I was not going to give them full recognition. So leave it to comics, okay? Uh, I bought books from these guys before. If you are in any of the auctions that uh, Leave It to Comics has, uh, get books from their, their grab box behind them. They always have uh, great stuff in there. Um, feel secure in sending them friends and family because you will get your books very well packed in a very, very timely fashion. So, yes, this is the one I got. It's a Looney Tunes, number uh, 205. <laughs> and she's calling it uh, a 4.0 improvable. Um, when it comes to Golden Age books in from the 50s, 10 cent books, I'm not going to mess around with this. I will be actually very happy 
with this being a uh, a 4.0 Bugs Bunny, Elmer Fudd, Looney Tunes book, uh, I want to start getting more Golden Age books into my collection. And this, you know, I, I love the the Disney books. I love the Looney Tunes books. Um, I, you know, would love to get some older, you know, Golden Age Batman books, but. <laughs> So those are the 10 books that I'm going to be sending off for my economy pre-1975. So I've got some, I got a couple bronze, I've got some silver, and I've got a golden age. So let's see how we do with this. And what is it, 195 day turnaround? So yeah, it's going to be a while. And I think 195 days is, you know, that's business days. So every week is five days. You know, so don't think 195 divided by seven. No, it's 195 divided by 5, and that's how many weeks it would be. So that would be 39 weeks. Yikes! <laughs> that's another one of those ones we hope we get back in 2022. Hey, Christmas is looking to be really good for me, I hope. <laughs> Guys, thanks for joining me again. If you uh, think that I've, this, I've uh, missed the boat on sending some of these books, uh, that I'm uh, being foolishly optimistic on some of them, let me know. If you think I'm crazy for, for slapping them, let me know. If you just want to say hi, then say hi. Throw something in the comment. Don't forget to click like, subscribe. Join me yet again as we build our way to 750 and 1,000 to give away some great books, having some great content, and just, in general, having fun. Till I see you again, though, mahalo.